Hello and welcome to the service unit initial order tutorial. We're just going to walk you through how to quickly review your troops orders and make sure that everything is nice and tidy as we um, go through the, the rest of the process. What we can do is scroll down on our dashboard here and we can see which troops have not submitted and maybe give us a little peek into why. So we have Troop 85 here that just doesn't have an order to be placed apparently and so they haven't submitted most likely. They just aren't participating for whatever reason. Um, and then I can see that I have lots and lots of yeses. I am using Service Unit 54 as my example here just because I hadn't submitted yet. Um, several other service units already have so this is just real quick to briefly go over it. Um, we have a one troop that 321 that has 10 boxes. That might be a good indicator that they had somebody selling in digital cookie and so we might want to follow up with them just to see if we need to order any other boxes or work with them. And anybody with really low orders that haven't submitted, we might just want to check in with them tonight to make sure that they don't have anything else that we need to do. What we're going to do is just jump over to the initial order. You can also see the same information or at least whether or not they submitted right here and if you did need to unsubmit anybody it doesn't really matter at this point for the um, service unit level but you can see who didn't submit here too but you can also see who submitted their initial rewards because there's only two initial rewards that automatically um, will roll over it's not so important that troops submit for their initial order um, rewards but just so you can see only one troop in this service unit actually did that and that's okay the next thing we're going to do is see how all of those orders kind of roll up for each troop to be able to see how many cases are getting ordered for that troop and all I'm going to do is look at all of those and make sure that there's no crazy outliers. Like they don't have 50 cases of Savannah Smiles, yet they only have five cases of Samoas and Thin Mints. We just want to quickly glance at all of this and make sure that our two highest numbers are always those Samoas, Thin Mints, and hopefully Tagalongs isn't far behind. Everything else isn't going to be as big of a deal. But once again, just quickly glance at it. And this is all in cases when we're looking at it at the service unit level. And so I can kind of see that my overall numbers make sense. The very most is in the Thin Mint area. Next up is Samoas. They're usually fairly close or at least relatively close. Tagalongs is somewhere about halfway in between those numbers. All of the other varieties are going to be a lot less maybe s'mores um, kicks up just a little bit less and toffee tastic should be your lowest so we're just kind of looking at it and then simply click the submit your order and you are done um, after that all you're going to do is come over to the rewards you're going to click the initial reward you're going to make sure you re that you reviewed it you can type in your address so that you can do it and then click submit your rewards order and that'll just roll everybody that didn't submit up into it so any girl that sold 250 is automatically going to be um, put in there so that's all there is to it we're just submitting our initial order reviewing it really quickly and then submitting our rewards if you do happen to see any troops that just seem way off or like they ordered just a few boxes or something like that and it does look like they're supposed to be participating you've gone through and you see that they have a contact they signed the contract you gave them materials but for some reason they're one of these zeros um, do go ahead and give them a call to make sure that they don't have orders that need to be placed it is best to submit that initial order before tomorrow at 10. if you do need any assistance that is my cutoff time that i submit to the baker it is 10 o'clock tomorrow morning so please have it into me bright and early so that i can make any last minute corrections thanks everybody